Congestive heart failure, or CHF, affects some 4.6 million Americans, and it is the leading cause of hospitalization in people older than 65. Heart failure means that the heart is not pumping with enough force to adequately move blood, along with oxygen and nutrients, throughout the body. As a result, the kidneys respond by causing the body to retain fluid and become congested. CHF is caused by many things that damage the heart muscle, such as coronary artery disease, heart defects, diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, and an irregular heartbeat, to name a few. The board-certified heart specialists at New York Methodist Hospital use the latest technology and procedures to diagnose and treat CHF. Here's Dr. Hajir Dalmanian to discuss how CHF is diagnosed. The most common symptom that someone may experience is shortness of breath when they walk, or a lot of shortness of breath at night or coughing at night, swelling in the legs or chest pain. To diagnose it, first of all, begins just with interviewing and asking for someone's past medical history, their risk factors, their family history, to the basic physical exam, listening for heart murmurs, even just a simple blood pressure. Probably the most common test that's done is an echocardiogram, a sonogram of the heart, which again evaluates how the heart pumps and how the valves operate and how the pressures are on the heart. That usually is the starting point of understanding what's happening with the heart. I think one of the most critical elements for patients is to have the regular checkups and what the prevents heart failure is to control blood pressure and that comes from diet, exercise. If you are diagnosed with CHF, New York Methodist doctors are prepared with the latest and most effective treatments available. Probably the majority of patients who do have heart failure fortunately will not require heart surgery. Treatment usually begins with two classes of medications that are beta blockers and ACE inhibitors that help actually relax the heart rather than force the heart to pump harder. 45% of the people who have uh, congestive heart failure have diastolic dysfunction. It's a fancy way of saying when the heart is supposed to relax and fill up with blood, it doesn't relax. That type of heart failure can be treated with medication very safely, very simply, and relatively inexpensively. The ones who do require heart surgery are patients who have significant blockages of practically all three major blood vessels of the heart, or patients who have severely tight or severely leaky valves of the heart. For patients with conditions that cannot be successfully treated with medications alone, New York Methodist offers several surgical options, including coronary artery bypass and valve replacement or repair. Here's Dr. Yosef Gugorov to explain. There are multiple ways to approach uh, uh, bypass surgery depending on the pathology that the patient has. Possibly opening up blockages in the heart, atherosclerosis, that happens in the arteries that feed and supply oxygen to the heart, whether that be through bi open heart bypass surgery or through stents in the heart. In terms of valve surgery, we've been offering at Methodist Hospital minimal invasive valve surgery for many years. Both aortic valves and mitral valves can be repaired through smaller incisions uh, with the same success rate. In the last several years, um, cardiac resynchronization therapy which is what we call biventricular pacemaking, has become a fantastic technology that coordinates the electrical conduction of the heart and actually improves people's quality of lives and actually helps them live longer. New York Methodist houses state-of-the-art diagnostic and surgical facilities, and the cardiac surgery team at the New York Methodist Cornell Heart Center come from the world-renowned Weill Cornell Medical Center at New York Presbyterian Hospital. What makes in my mind, New York Method is special is that actually we have a good um, a working environment here where cardiologists, cardiothoracic surgeons, primary care physicians all work together trying to get the patient better. And I think that's really our devotion to go out within neighborhoods in Brooklyn and see patients in their own primary care setting and in their own neighborhoods it makes a dramatic difference. And that's, I think, one of the key parts of our success here. People who live in Brooklyn don't have to go to Manhattan to um, obtain world-class services when they're available in your neighborhood. The Institute's staff of physicians includes board-certified specialists in all areas of cardiology, interventional cardiology, electrophysiology, and cardiothoracic surgery. Referrals to these specialists or to cardiac programs and services available can be made through a primary care physician or by calling the numbers on your screen.